In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about MySQL functions. In the last tutorial, we have learned about the aggregate functions or the group functions. Now, in today's tutorial, we are going to learn about the single row functions. A function is a special type of predefined command. So, functions are predefined commands that perform some operations and returns a single value. So, they perform some function operations and returns a single value. Now single row functions return a single result row for every row means single result for every row or every value. They are categorized into numeric string functions and date and time functions. These are the major categories of single row functions. Now the first one is numeric functions now first mode returns the remainder so it returns the new remainder when it is used so select mode 3 13 comma 4 so when 13 is divided by 4 the remainder is 1 similarly when 16 is divided by 4 the remainder is 0 then next is power so power have two arguments so returns the value of one expression raised to the power another expression so one expression is this one like 2 and the another expression will be 4 so it will return 2 to the power 4 so result will be 16 similarly select pow 2 comma minus 2 so it is 2 to the power minus 2 so the output will be 0 0.25 means 1 since it is 2 to the power minus 2 so it will be 1 divided by 4 so 0 0.25 the next is minus 2 to the power 3 so minus 2 is multiplied 3 times then it will be minus 8 the next one is round function round x rounds the argument to the 0 decimal place so round x rounds of the value to the 0 decimal place the next is round x comma d rounds the argument to d decimal places so d specifies the decimal places up till where we have to round off select round minus 1 comma minus 1 point 23 so minus 1 point 23 will return minus 1 because when it is round off so it gives minus 1 the next always remember this sign minus sign will come in case of negative numbers minus sign will come before this and just we have to round up this number the next is minus 1.58 so 1.58 when round up it will give 2 so here the sign is minus so here it is also minus the next is 1.58 so it will result Two. the next here when we are using 1 so means this 7 is in the 0 place and after that 9 is at 1 place so we are have to round up this 9 so when it is round up then it will give the answer 3.8 the next round 0 so 0 is like this only this 3 where the number of places is not given so it will give 1 the next minus 1 minus 1 here this 2 before this 3 is the minus 1 place so it will result to 20 so these are the different examples of round function with the outputs the next is truncate in the above examples we have seen that the numbers have been round off but in truncate it is not round off just we are removing the numbers after that decimal place so here as you can see one once mean means this two now when 2.27.729 minus 1 so minus 1 place is this 2 so it is truncating means it will just place 0 after it so here you can see the output is 20 
the next sign it returns the sign of the number so here when 5 is placed as an argument then the result is 1 means the positive then when minus 1 is placed then the result is minus 1 means it is negative so minus 5 gives minus 1 because it is negative then last one is square root so sqrt will find the square root of a number so sqrt of 16 it gives 4 and oh sorry this is this should be square root square root of 25 it is 5 that's all for today thank you